Hello, in this video we are going to compare these two numbers. We have 81 to the power of 81, 81, 81 and 81. Or we have 3 to the power of 3, to the power of 3 and to the power of 3. We are going to find out which of these two numbers is actually the bigger number. So we can start by rewriting this 81 here in its index form. So we can make use of 3 to the power of 4, that is 81 all to the power of 81, 81, 81, and 81. We have all 3 to the power of 3, to the power of 3, and to the power of 3. Now let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of n. This equals a to the power of n times n. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of 4 into 81, 81, 81, 81. We have all 3 to the power of 3, to the power of 3, and to the power of 3. So let's proceed. Now, if you look at these two numbers, the bases are the same. We have 3 here, we have 3 here. So we can eliminate these two bases. So we are going to be left with 4 into 81, 81, 81, 81. Or we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. So let's proceed. This is 81, 81, 81, 81. That is 81 into 4 places. We can factor that out. So we can have 4 times 81 into 1, 1, 1, 1. Or we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Have you seen that? So the next thing we can rewrite this 81 in index form. So we can have 4 times 3 to the power of 4. That is 81 into 1, 1, 1, 1. Or we still have 3. This is 3 to the power of 3, these two exponents here. So if we do that, I mean we are going to have 3 to the power of 27. So right now we are comparing this whole number and 3 to the power of 27. So at this point, what we can do is, this is 3 to the power of 4, and this is 3 to the power of 27. We can divide each of this part by 3 to the power of 4. We divide this by 3 to the power of 4. Now, if we do that, 3 to the power of 4 will cancel 3 to the power of 4. We are going to be left with 4 times 1, 1, 1, 1. Or, now, if you come to this part, let's remember this identity. If you have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n minus n. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of 27 minus 4. So that means we are going to have 4 into 1, 1, 1, 1. Or 27 minus 4 is simply 3 to the power of 24. Or sorry, 23. 27 minus 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. So 27 minus 4 is 23. So, now we are comparing this number and 3 to the power of 23. So let's multiply this number out. We have 4 times 1. This one again we have 4. Multiply this one we have 4. And finally multiplying the last one we have 4 as well. We have 4, 4, 4, 4. That is 4 into plus 4 places. Or 3 to the power of 23. Now, if you look at the two numbers. It is very obvious that 3 to the power of 23 will be far greater than 4,444. So this number here is far greater than this number. So that also means that we can say or we can conclude that 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is greater than 81 to the power of 
81, 81, 81, and 81. So, that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.